हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू क्यू जी एस बेसिक्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन अ स्लाइड ऑफ टू नो व्हाट इज स्लोप एंड आस्पेक्ट सो इन प्रैक्टिकल वी विल डू इन दिस इन क्यू जी एस यूजिंग अ डैम फर्स्ट वी विल कैलकुलेट द स्लोप एंड देन आस्पेक्ट सो हाउ इट इज इट वर्क्स लेट अस सी सो लेट गेट स्टार्ट इन जस्ट एड दिस dem to our project it has values from 321 to 4699 so it is high mountain area and uh, this is this dem is in geographic projection if i zoom it you will see here it's showing epsg 4326 first of all we have to convert this into a projected system so how to do that go to raster projection warp this is our input layer and target projection we have to set the target crs and now data value is 0 and reprojected i'll save it to location projected projected dem save and run it close now this is our 4326 project dem and this is our reprojected dem this is our reprojected dem now first we will create a hill shed of this toolbox here is the plugin of terrain setting create hill shed terrain i am using a dem of projected dem direction is 315 and sun angle is 45 degree and save to file name it hill shed and run it here we will see that this is our hill shed as you see now in this dam also we are seeing that this is our depth portion this is a plain portion so here there is no aspect or no slope in this direction here we have slope in this direction that is this is east our top top most is north facing this is north this is south if i as a cursor here it is east facing and this one is west facing this is both west and north you can say this is north west facing and we move to another location here it is west facing this is east facing and it it is clearly west facing here this location is west facing this is east facing and this is north and this is south facing so let's generate the slope for this so what we will get so go to raster creation tool you will see here this is raster terrain analysis and in this we will click on slope and select elevation layer as projected layer z factor 1 it means keep it default and save the slope to slope save run it close now here slope these are the this is the slope and you will see the values of slope are 0 to 72 this is in degree 
we have maximum slope is 72 degree so we can change it to pseudo color also if i classify it you can see and click on apply you will see the at white portion there is a zero degree slope and as we move to height here is it this is the darker portion darker portion has maximum values so as i classify from 0 to 72 degree you will see the slope values if i move to this here in some area there is darker portion this means that here is the steepest more steep slope here if i turn off the slope and turn on the hill shed you will see there is a more inclination here is much steep slope it is more than 60 degree so this is also shown in slope now move to the aspect now i will create the aspect of this dam click on aspect double click on aspect select the elevation model projected dam g factor 1 and save it to aspect tip and click on run close here it's come take it to upside and here is the slope here you will see it is showing 0 0.17 to 360 so this is the default color for this i have to change the color of this so it's a single band i will change it to multi uh, pseudo color classify you will see these are approximate to 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree to 70 degree so i am changing it 0 90 180 270 and this is 360 this is 0 is north and here 90 is east it's south it's west and it is again north I'm changing the color of south it's to pink okay and changing the north value to red or you or i can pick the value from here also copy this value and paste it here okay now both north have same values and each direction is this one i'm changing it to blue east facing is blue south facing is pink and west facing is it's darker green changing it to green okay so these are the colors of different sides click ok now you will see that here in in layer panel you will see the directions of this is facing west direction but if you are looking the terrain you will see it looks like that it is east facing but no this is west facing this is the ridge 
this one is the rays if i turn off this and turn on hill shed you will see that this one is our rays and as i turn on the aspect you will see this one is west facing and this is east facing if you have under understand let us add a opacity tool for this legend opacity slider okay now this is our opacity slider now i'll zoom here if i slide this you will see this is our depth portion okay now you will see here this is our north facing this is east facing this one is east facing as i turn off you will see the slope towards this direction if you will see the slope is in this direction slope is in this direction here we have slope in this direction and if i turn on the aspect you will see this is east facing maximum sunlight come to this side is from east and this is north side if i see this one here this one this is this one is south facing this one is south facing if i turn off the aspect you will see this portion is sloping towards south and here we have the you will clearly visible here in this portion i increase the opacity little bit okay here it is clearly visible this face slope face is towards south and this is towards north increase you will see south facing is pink and north facing is red and here it is east facing is clearly blue you will see here east east facing is clearly blue if i dim this you will see the hill is this hill is east facing once again turn on this is east facing and as i slowly slide you will see the actual mountain and the slope towards which direction hope that you understand what is slope in the slope you will get the degree of slope here you will get in this you have the values here you will get how much degree of the slope is exist in that place if you want to change suppose you want to change the slope of 28 degree to red suppose i am changing this to red now we'll see what it will affect all the red portion which comes out having a slope of 28 degree you will see maximum area is covered with this red pixels so everywhere there is a red pixel it shows that it is a slope of it have the slope of 28 degree and it's around between 18 to 37 it's showing the values of 28 degree so hope you understand and how to change how to add a opacity slider to the raster data there is a separate video i'll give in the link above you can click on that link and check and i need some favor from your side please subscribe my channel and comment on this video so that uh, there is some help for me also
थैंक यू